Hey, I'm Michael Lunsford here, Citizens for a New Louisiana. And I don't know if you saw this article I put out the other day called We Don't Need No Stinking Audit about Vermilionville, the Living History Museum Foundation. Uh, actually, Bayou Vermilion District is supposed to be in charge, but their president of Vermilionville seems to think that's not the case. In fact, um, he posted in a comment on the article, uh, where do I start? The Museum Foundation is not wholly owned by Bayou Vermilion District. Miss Jindia is incorrect. Miss Jindia, by the way, is at the Legislative Auditor's Office. And what she actually said that drew this response from Mr. Martin, or should I call him Dr. Martin, uh, and this is the email. She said, according to our records, the foundation was formed to manage Vermilionville, a living history museum which is owned by Lafayette Parish, Bayou Vermilion District. Per Troy Corville, CPA for the entity, the management of the museum has reverted to the district as of October of 2002. And she provides a link to their most recent version, which is, I think, the audit from 2003. We'll get to that in a minute. So who is Troy Corville? Well, I was curious. So I pulled all of their Form 990s. This is the paperwork that a nonprofit files with the IRS. This one's from 2011. And if you look and see who wrote the document, who actually filled out the tax return for Vermilionville Living History Museum Foundation, there he is, Troy Corville. So now Michael Martin is calling his own accountant wrong. Not just the legislative order, but his own accountant says he's wrong. Something else I wanted to bring to your attention, this is their most recent Form 990 that, that we can get from the IRS from 2019. Generally, those are filed yeah, sometime 2020. So if I jump over here to the additional data section, that's what that looks like, additional data, it has a little description. What is this organization? The foundation, by you, excuse me, the Vermilionville Living History Museum Foundation, acts as an advisory board to support and enhance Vermilionville and so forth. It's an advisory board. They have no decision-making authority. They have no money authority. They just they, they make advice for Bayou Vermilion District, and Bayou Vermilion District is supposed to vote on it. That's not what's been going on, though. They've been kind of trying to run the show, as you can see from all these comments from um, their current board president, Michael Martin. So we're going to continue with the proof that Vermilionville is owned by Bayou Vermilion District. This is their Articles of Incorporation filed with the Secretary of State. It's actually walk over to the Clerk of Courts office here and get a copy. And this, I think, is, I don't call it the coup de grace, but it's pretty good. Article 8 talks about first directors and officers of the organization right here. And it says, the current directors and officers of Bermuda Historic Foundation Incorporated, a Louisiana nonprofit corporation, here, here we go, established by and operating under the direction of the Lafayette Parish Bayou Vermilion District. So, established by and operating under the direction of Bayou Vermilion District. So, they're not even a freestanding board. They are owned by Bayou Vermilion District. And I know what you're thinking. How can that be? Well, here is, the, I was telling you just a minute ago, legislative order linked to the last audit. I downloaded it. Page 2 of the audit right here says, transferred assets to Bayou Vermilion District. So even the last audit says we sent we sent them all the money we had. Right here in the legislative audit paperwork. Finally, and I think this is the one that's going to really seal the deal for us, their own training document. If you're an employee of Vermilionville, you get this document. It's more pages. I didn't print them all. I just printed all the way through page 6 because I thought page 6 had historically accurate information. Remember, Michael Martin is in charge of this operation. This is his employee owner manual or employee handbook, I guess we'll call it. On November 5th, 1992, the Vermilionville Historic Foundation Incorporated was established as a nonprofit corporation exclusively for the support management furtherance of Vermilionville, a living history museum. On December 31st, 20, or excuse me, 2001, IRS 501c3 status was awarded to the new and renamed, organization renamed itself, nonprofit corporation, Vermilionville, living history museum foundation. Okay, you with, staying with me. Here's the good part. In October 2002, the direct management of Vermilionville was removed from the Living History Museum Foundation and reclaimed by the Lafayette Parish Bayou Vermilion District. The decision was made for the foundation board to remain active in a support 
and furtherance of Vermilionville as a living history museum. It's still, it's not in charge. It doesn't own anything. Their own employee manual tells you as much. So I don't know what the problem is. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't read. Maybe he's putting out information that he thinks ought to be true, but it's not. So I've just provided you with a stack of documents here that tells you who owns Vermilionville, and it's not the Vermilionville Living History Museum Foundation. It is Bayou Vermilion District. So there you go.